is 7 News at 6 with Mark Ferguson. Good evening. Crash west of Sydney that's left two teenagers dead and another in killed was just 14 years old and certainly unlicensed. Locals say they heard the ute being driven at speed before it clipped a car, smashed into a pole and then rolled and landed on its roof. The impact of the crash was horrific. A four-wheel drive crumpled against a power pole, two young lives over in an instant. I heard him coming down the hill and I reckon he was doing well over 100 k's. 14-year-old Curtis Pallet was behind the wheel of his brother's car and police believe speeding down the Great Western Highway when he clipped a sedan, tore through a power pole and then a fence. The schoolboy was killed instantly, along with passenger 17-year-old Joshua Cross. The only survivor, 18-year-old Daniel Moss, suffered serious injuries. The investigation's in its infancy at this stage, uh, but it would appear to be uh, speed may have been the contributing and causal factor to this crash. Earlier last night, the teenagers had been celebrating at an 18th birthday party. Today, their friends gathered at the scene, leaving flowers and tributes on Facebook. Taken way too soon, gone but never forgotten. Oh, it was terrible. It was um, something that should never have happened. Um, 19 years ago we've lived here and asked for speed humps and we all uh, did a petition and no one listened. It's been a horror weekend on the state's roads. Four people have been killed including a woman in her late 60s as she was struck by a car this morning at Chatswood. These flowers in memory of two teenagers now also a reminder for drivers to slow down. And Amanda Abate is at Westmead Hospital this evening. Amanda, what's the latest on the 18-year-old's condition? Well, Mark, there is some better news tonight. Daniel Moss, who was the passenger in the four-wheel drive last night, is now in a stable condition in hospital, but of course coming to terms with the horrible news uh, that his friends did not survive. Now, a memorial is being planned for the boys tomorrow night and the entire community is encouraged to attend. It will be held at the Emu Plains football fields from about 6 o'clock, Mark. OK, Amanda, thank you. 20